everyone, this is Nikki of Nikki Hearts Cards. If this is your first time on the channel, yay, make sure you hit that subscribe button. If it's not, please make sure you hit the like button on every video. That makes a big difference for me. And look at this card. Okay, we are going to work today on making a gift card holder from scraps. So this does not require any special dies or anything like that, and it really makes your cards extra special. I think just having that little interactive element really makes people happy, and I'm having to create tons and tons of graduation cards and all kinds of things in this season, so this works excellent for those. We will also do a brief look at the new release from Catherine Pooler, which if you're a Catherine Pooler fan like me, you are going to love it. For my front piece, I am going to use a rectangle stitch die right here in the middle. That's the perfect size for a credit card or um, for the size of gift card that most of them are. And then we're going to use the new stamp set that has this popcorn, pretzels. It's so cute. It's called Admit To. And it's just a great thing for giving. I'm, I put a movie gift card in here. I think it'd be a great thing for a movie gift card, a date card, whatever you want to use it for. So I've found that making a little pocket for the gift card to slide down into makes it easy. And that way you have one side that glues to your front part and one part that glues to the next and it leaves like a little pocket. So I'm just using some scraps that I had of this navy paper and I'm making sure they're the same length and size of the actual front rectangle. So if you cut your rectangle, you could easily just cut off an extra piece. But I do want to score these so that the gift card slides down in between and you need to score them so you've got two sides, one that sticks to your front pocket and one that sticks to the back of your card. I'm going to list my measurements, but this is only if you have the same size rectangle. This is the rectangle that's about a credit card, and I'm not even really worrying if I score this perfectly. I'm just scoring it so that it bends and the card can slide down in between these two things without getting caught on any glue because we're going to put the glue on both edges. So I'm just making sure it fits and scoring generally in the middle, not being too precise. I'm sorry that this is a very large scoring board and it was hard to get all of this in my camera view. but. I'm I'm just scoring, bending, making sure everything's flat, and then we are, I'll show you how I put these on the piece to create the little pocket. I feel like starting with your piece at the bottom where the card is going to stop is kind of easier because now once I get that one piece in place, I can line up my other ones so that they fit and slide well. So we're going to add two pieces of double-sided adhesive, and then I'm gonna stick this to the bottom of my rectangle. Make sure this is on the back side of what you want to see. So I'm doing the back. If you don't have a die cut, it probably doesn't matter, but I did die cut this one out of the scallops and dots, and so it has little um, dots on the back. So I'm trying to make this as even as I can, but it doesn't have to be perfect. It's just so that the gift card hits there and doesn't slide all the way down. Next, I'm going to look at placing my two sides. I will trim these down just a little bit because I don't want them to stick out behind the thing. And also, I don't want them to overlap too much so that there's not as much place for that card to get caught. So I'm gonna add some adhesive to this one and we'll put it along the side like this. You just wanna make sure it's not able to be seen. I am gonna use glue for this one, which is a little bit more difficult, but it helps me with my placement to make sure I can move it around a little bit if I decide I want to adjust where that placement is. Once you get the second side down, we do need to put the card in there and make sure we've got a good snug fit. So I would stick your card in to figure out where you're going to place your other side. And we know this one's going to be a little bit too long, so we need to adjust and trim off the edge. But I like to look at where it's going to fit well. I didn't want to put it all the way down like that, so I did decide to trim some off so that it kind of hits where our other one is. Now I'm gonna do this one with liquid glue especially because I need this to fit snug, not so that the card won't move, but so that the card fits perfectly. So I'm gonna attach it like this, putting my card down, having that bend over and holding it for a second. You see how it makes a little pocket. Now, you could make this pocket a lot prettier, but this is how you do it with scraps and it's so nice and easy. Now, if you're thinking ahead, you could have gone on and stamped that front piece before we glued everything together, but for me, I was so excited about making the gift card holder, I forgot I needed to stamp on the front. So I'm going to use my Misty magnets. They hold this perfectly flat, which is nice. And we're going to add um, one, not a completed version, but I know I'm going to use the popcorn and I know it's going to be my tallest item. So I went on and grabbed that popcorn die piece to figure out where I was going to put the sentiment treat yourself. 
think this helps you not have to work around those images and try to make things fit later. And it's also nice to look through your plastic stamp sheet so that you can see where that's gonna hit. Okay, so I got that lined up, make sure it's nice and even, and then I'm adding some powder. I know this scares people, but I like to add a ton of powder. My favorite tool is that Cat Scrappiness Telescopic Powder Tool. And then I'm gonna use some Versamark, and we're gonna stamp on this area and heat emboss it in a really pretty white. And that's just gonna highlight this cool, cool card. So I'm gonna do this, and I promise this powder's gonna come off. I will show you in just a second. I'm using Wow Opaque Bright White. This is my favorite white embossing powder. And when you're embossing on dark colored cardstock, you need to make sure that you have done a lot of powder and that you double check and look for all those little areas where there could be a piece of powder. If there is something there, it's gonna show up brighter than what it is on your piece of paper. So I'm gonna take a little brush and dust off that one piece that I see. If there's a little spot on the letter, I can take that off. It just kinda of helps um, with the powder to make sure that you've got all your little pieces and then we'll heat it up. Look how awesome that looks. So now I'm just gonna use a microfiber cloth and I'm gonna wipe off all of that powder and look, I'm back to my normal color. I'm gonna fold my pieces down and because it wants to pop up a little bit, I'm gonna set my acrylic block on top of it just to kind of hold it flat for a little bit while I get the rest of the card ready. And since I'm making this from scratch, I need a way to be able to pull out that gift card from the pocket. So I decided I was gonna create some nice twine and make a little matching string that I'm gonna to attach to the back of the gift card. Now, if you had a pre-done die, it'd probably have a little cutout where you could grab your card, but since we're making ours from scratch, we need to have something to pull the card out. So I'm just creating a little knotted loop right there just to help me adhere this to the back. And then I'm gonna add some tape to the back of this. Okay, so I'm gonna use washi tape. You could use any kind of tape, and I'm just trying not to cover up to get any sticky on the magnetic strip of this. Um, and then I'm gonna also be careful when I go over where the pin number is, that part that you have to scratch off. I'm gonna try not to cover that area either, but otherwise I'm gonna put a decent amount of tape on the back of this. And you wanna check and make sure it works. So slide it in what's gonna be your pocket, make sure it pulls out and then it doesn't rip off the back. And look at how good that works, so great. Now all we need to do is make this pretty. So from that same set that's called Scallops and Dots, I created a scalloped piece of vellum and now I'm gonna color in my popcorn. Now you could just stamp your popcorn, but I used a Copic marker in Y11 and just added dots of yellow because I just thought that having some white on my popcorn looked kind of cool. So I just added little dots of Y11 all over this to make it like they've got little centers that are buttery and look like corn and the rest is white. The rest of these images are stamped with Catherine Pooler inks and I will put those colors in the description for you. Uh, the last thing that I did was add some white highlights to these areas. I just like how this looks against the very dark colors. It just creates a little bit of extra interest so I added some white highlights to my images arranged all these cute little popcorn pieces like they're falling out of the popcorn container and then we'll glue this card together and it'll be done. So I got all of that put on the front and then now I need to put this little pocket and attach it to the back of the card. So I'm using that double-sided adhesive. It's a very thin layer and I'm putting this along these outside edges, making sure that they don't overlap. You don't want any sticky on the inside of the pocket because you don't want your gift card to stick to it. So just be careful that you've got it cut to the piece. And once I get this down, then I can carefully put it on the front of the card and it will be ready. Okay, and here's how that looks on here. I decided that I wanted my card to be a little bit bigger, so I did one more scallop die behind the background to make it just a little bit bigger card. So you see how that looks. Added all these together, and here's the final product. Thank you so much for sticking with me. I had such a great time making this video. I hope you enjoyed it and loved looking at these new Catherine Pooler products, as well as ways you can use your scraps to create something really cool. So have a great day, guys. I will hope to see you soon. Make sure you hit the like, subscribe, and all of the links will be listed in the description. Thank you so much. Bye.